morning, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining uh, Everflow's webinar. Uh, today's topic is general offer setup. We will cover two topics. Uh, first, you will know how to set up an offer after this webinar. And second, you will know how to generate a partner tracking link. So let's go to our demo account. And here is the dashboard with left side menu. So setting up an offer, you there are a few ways. So if you go to the offer, you can add an offer uh, from the secondary navigation bar, add an offer. And if you click on the offer manage, um, that's where you see all the existing offers that you have. If you are already existing client or if you are a new client, you will not see any. Within the offer manage, there is also this add offer option that you can add an offer. So uh, when you add an offer, so you will go through all the steps, the eight different steps for to help you to add an offer from the scratch. Uh, for today's purpose, I will just edit the existing offer. Please bear in mind that once you have an offer added, it's always possible to go back and edit whatever you would like to uh, change as well. So the first step is the general part. You give a name for your offer. So it's just description for your partner to see it very easily. There are four different status to this uh, offer. There's active, pause, pending, and delete. Well, offer is in other than active status, incoming clicks will be invalid. I want to mention that uh, delete is only a status. We don't actually delete anything once it's created. And you would choose an advertiser related to this offer. Some people are running offers for different advertisers. So you would uh, have different advertisers added, link them to the specific advertiser. Some Everflow users are direct advertisers, therefore you just have yourself as the advertiser. And then we would have category. Again, for direct advertisers, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just have one category, but some Everflow clients, you might run different uh, offers for different advertisers, so you can add different categories to it. Categories are external, so all your partners' affiliates are able to see what category is does this offer belongs to. And then you would move to the currency, and you would choose the specific currency that you would like to um, have for this offer. Once it, the offer is up running and registered the first click, you are not able to change the currency anymore. Uh, if you want this offer to be in a different currency, you can also just copy the exact same offer and just change the currency as well. The offer group is optional. Um, you can read the two tips during the offer setup as well. Offer groups is essentially a group of offer with a shared group caps. Labels is also optional, but we also advise our clients to use labels. You can basically add as many labels as you would like to uh, add. It is just easier for you to filter on specific offers in a late, later stage. And also labels are only internal, so your partners and affiliates will not be able to see. Base destination URL is very important. It is where you want the user to land. Um, I made a slide for that. So first is the main landing page. So you want to land on this page. The second part, in order for Everflow to track, the only macro that we required to add on whatever landing that you put it there is the transaction ID macro. The third part is we offer a lot of different macros within Everflow. So you can pass affiliate ID or any other information. And you can search if you want something like device, then you can search all the device related uh, inf macros within our macro session. But it's not only restricted to those macros that you would like to use. 
For example, you would like to pass the first name from your partner to your advertiser. Then you can create a macro within your base destination URL, like curly brackets, first name e equals F name. Then in the partner tracking link, you would add to the end of the tracking link. And then this part, um, the macro session will be replaced with Cindy. So you can pass additional information through the uh, base destination URL. App identifier is optional and preview URL is to let your affiliate to see what landing page normally a user will go. Internal notes is a field where you want to put information for your team internally to review and project ID is another field for store additional information. Channels is also optional. It is for informing your affiliate which channels you would like this offer to be promoted. Some people has campaign names from your advertisers and for organization purpose that you can put it here. We also allowed you to set an expiration date on your offer. When you set it up, the incoming clicks will be invalid once the offer expires. Description, again, that is a field in which you can add additional information here. So that's the general part. Let's move to the revenue and payout session. The first part is the conversion, and the second part is events. The conversion is when you normally would like to pay your affiliates. And the events are actions that happen before or after the conversion. For example, add to cart is an action before the conversion and write and review is an action after the conversion. You can have as many events as you like in Everflow. Conversion is visible to all your partners that are approved on your offer and events can be either public or private. When it's private, it's only visible to you. Some of our clients use events to optimize their user journey. I'm going to walk through the um, base payout and revenue first. Event works exactly the same, so I will not go through that. First is the base revenue type. There are different payout and revenue type within Everflow. A revenue represents what you earn on this specific conversion. In this case, let's say the purchase is $100 and your revenue, let's say is $80. That's what you put here, your revenue. It can be also $100 as well. Huh? Uh, revenue is not uh, external, so it's only for you to see, not for your affiliates to see. Then there is the payout. Payout is what you want to pay your affiliate and partner who brought the user for this purchase. So uh, you can have a fixed fee. So you want to pay $10 on every purchase, or you want to have a dynamic payout associated to the sales amount or revenue amount. That is also possible within Everflow. Let's do a quick recap. Revenue is only visible to you, not to your partners. You can do a flat payout, that would be CPA. You can do a dynamic payout, cost per sale, that would depend on the sale amount that is passed in the advertiser postback, or you can do a percentage of revenue. So if your revenue is $10 and the payout is 10% of the revenue, that would be $1. We also offer a hybrid payout. You can pay a fixed fee plus a percentage of sale. If you have more questions, we also have a help desk article can help you with that. Let's continue. You can manually approve conversions that means all the incoming conversions will be in pending status until you approve them. And you can also allow duplicate conversions. 
how we determine duplicate conversions by default is based on transaction ID. But it's also possible to uh, duplicate conversions based on order ID if you are e-commerce clients. Uh, we allowed you to fire the partner post back by toggling here, or you can toggle it off as well. So that is the revenue and payout. Additional events, the setup is the same, except we allowed it to be either public or private. Next part is tracking and control. First part is you can select specific tracking domains. By default, when you sign up Everflow, you get one tracking domain for free. So normally you don't have an option. If you want to add additional tracking domains, you can reach out to us. We can add additional tracking domains for you. In such case, you would have drop down to select which tracking domains you want to use for this specific offer. You can see there are three listed conversion methods, but the first two are the recommended conversion methods. So I'm going to walk you through the first. So there is the server post bank and JavaScript. SDK, so the server post bank. The server post bank basically utilizes the post bank URL in which uh, you can see in the example down there. This is how the post bank would look like. Uh, every client gets their uh, unique post bank within their account, and I will show you where you can find it. And uh, post server post back creates a server to server connection for recording conversions and events. And it's very secure and uh, very accurate. The second method is JavaScript SDK. It's used, utilized first party cookie. And advantage of using JavaScript SDK is it removes the traditional redirect tracking method, right? So when a user click on the tracking link, it goes to your website directly or goes to the landing page directly without a redirect. That means that uh, your partners can use Everflow direct tracking links for third parties such as uh, Facebook and Google because they don't allow uh, redirects. If you select the JavaScript SDK, make sure you also turn on use direct linking if that's the purpose of using JavaScript SDK. And we also uh, allow you to set caps. You can set uh, click caps, you can set conversion caps and payout and revenue caps. You can set daily, weekly, monthly, or global caps. And that's the same for click conversion payout and revenues. A uh, control part, which is uh, you can have uh, three different uh, visibilities for your offer. You can make it private, so nobody can see and run your offer. You can make it required appro require approval. That means your partner can see it, but they cannot uh, run the offer until you approve them. Or you can make it public. That means all your partners can see and run your offers. Uh, you can also enable terms and condition and force your partners to agree on these terms and conditions. So when they uh, approved on the offer, they automatically agrees on the terms or conditions. Unique session identify. It is basically how you identify a unique click within Everflow. There are different uh, uh, ways to identify a unique click. And we give you different options for that. We allow you to enable duplicate click filter. So you can decide where those duplicate click go. Um, we advise you to keep the redirect mode as the standard 302, but you have the option to select others. Others enable KPI requirement. You can list your KPI in our platform for your partner to see on this offer. And you can also add certain tracking parameters to the offer for your partners as well. Um, attribution in Everflow, we allowed you to have last touch or first touch. By default, everything is set to last touch. If you would like to use first touch, that's also possible. And we also have integration with third party fraud detection tools, and if you are integrated with them in Everflow, you can use them. Uh, we also have enabled email ownership. 
so that the reoccurring conversions will be attributed to whoever brought this conversion with the certain email address. Enable view through rate. It's also possible when you want to track impressions and uh, view through rate. Uh, you can add your advertiser's impression tracking link here. And we also have the possibilities to enable server side clicks, allowed you to send the user directly to the base URL without uh, a redirect. Targeting is very straightforward. In Everflow, you have two types of targeting, include or exclude. Include means that uh, only the traffic included in the targeting will be passed through or the rest will not. Uh, exclude means everything will be passed through except these ones that exclude. We have different types of targeting that you can find within our platform. Fail traffic is where you want to send invalid clicks to a different destination. So you can always have a global offer that you want to send invalid clicks to if you don't want to waste those uh, clicks. We allowed you to add creatives into our platform to, so your partners can download and use those creatives. You can add diff different types of creatives and uh, we can also track the performance of these creatives. If you are running any email campaigns, you can put your email instructions here in the email session. So once everything is set, you just click on save and then you will go back to the general uh, overview of this setup. And if you would like to edit offer, click on the three dots here in the general session and click on edit, then you can edit uh, um, certain part of the offer if you would like to. Uh, from the offer overview, you can find the, the server post pack that we talked about. Uh, if you use uh, server to server tracking, this is the conversion post back. And if you have additional events added in the revenue and payout, you can also um, implement different uh, post back to fire different events. I'm going to show you how to put a partner tracking link. You can pull it directly from the offer that you just created. Here is the uh, offer tracking links. It, it is always there. You just click on offer tracking link and uh, then you select specific partner that you want to put a tracking link and then you will see the tracking link here and then you can copy and uh, you can also we also generate a QR code for this specific um, partner offer and uh, you can also share this offer and offer tracking link to your partner. You can also generate all links at once. So uh, you don't have to generate one by one manually. If you want to do some tests with your advertisers, you can also generate an advertiser test link here as well. That's basically the general offer setup. We have help desk articles uh, to walk you through the steps. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. And have a good day and have a good evening. Bye-bye.